Hi guys, this is Kayleen. Have you guys ever seen these buses before? They belong to Tokyo's most famous bus tour company, Hato Bus. Hato Bus provides tours at famous sightseeing spots in Tokyo or locations nearby Tokyo. Today we've come to Hato Bus and we're gonna go on a Hato Bus tour around various sightseeing spots in Tokyo. You can choose your tour from a Hata Bus pamphlet or by visiting the Hata Bus website. You need to make a reservation to join one. Today, our bus is taking off from Hamamatsucho. From the south exit of the JR Hamamatsucho train station, you can see arrows pointing to the bus terminal. Follow those arrows and turn right after leaving the gates. Once you've descended the stairs, go right. Following the signs, go left and enter the World Trade Center building. See the blue sign? Turn left and take the escalator down to the first floor. Now you've made it to the Hato bus counter. In the waiting area, there are people from all over the world waiting for their tour buses to take off. Okay, now it's our turn. Here's our course for the day. We'll start at Hamamatsucho and visit Meiji Jingu Shrine, the Imperial Palace, and Asakusa Temple. So, shall we say ohayo to Mr. Nakamura? And how to say thank you in Japanese is Arigato. Yeah. Sounds like Arigata. Arigato, Arigata. Is it the On the way to the shrine, we pass the Tokyo Tower. Once you hit the skyscrapers of Shinjuku, you know you're getting close. As we approached Meiji Jingu Shrine, the tour guide gave us a history of the shrine with a lot of information I hadn't heard before. Once we got off the bus, we headed toward the shrine. Meiji Jingu Shrine is a shrine for the Shinto religion. The Shinto religion is a distinct religion of Japan that involves worshipping nature and ancestral spirits. The shrine was named after Emperor Meiji and was built in 1920 in Yuyogi Park for him and his wife, Empress Shoken. Their souls are worshipped at the shrine and people come all year round to ask for blessings. So we've come to our first spot on the Hato Bus Tour, which is the Meiji uh, Jingu Shrine, which is a very popular tourist destination because it's got a lot of history and you can really feel the Japanese culture. There are a lot of beautiful spots to take photos at the shrine, but this is my first time to take photos with the priest. Kind of a cool memory. Next, we got on the bus and headed towards the Imperial Palace. We passed many government buildings, including the National Diet Building, on the way there. This area of Tokyo is called Nagashicho, and it is where most of Japan's government buildings are housed. Here's the palace moat, only a little further to our destination.
We arrived at Nijubashi Bridge at the Imperial Palace, but because it was sakura season, there were so many people coming to visit. Since the special sakura garden is only open for viewing this time of year, the crowds can get crazy. For safety purposes, we weren't allowed to take video footage. But this area still has a lot of great spots for photos. We took a lot, and you can even see the sakura in some. It was interesting talking with the fellow tourists as we passed the time. Finally, we left the Hibiya downtown area and headed to our final destination, Asakusa. Here is the Asakusa area and the Asakusa subway station. So right now we've come to Asakusa and Sensoji Temple and we're at which is the entrance to this Buddhist temple. Let's go inside. Sensoji Temple is the oldest Buddhist temple in Tokyo. It was founded in Asakusa nearly 1400 years ago in the year 628. The Nakamise shopping street leads up to the temple and I highly recommend it for buying Japanese souvenirs and for trying a number of traditional Japanese snacks. The temple is very beautiful and well maintained, and it is definitely my number one recommended temple to visit while in Tokyo. There are always a lot of pious men and women coming to visit Asakusa Temple, and many come dressed in, or rent, traditional Japanese kimonos. We finished our tour of Asakusa at the Kabuki statue behind the temple. Did you guys enjoy the Hato bus tour? I certainly did. So we finished up our tour and now we're in Yurakusho. Uh, using the Hakka bus tours is a really easy way to see some of the most famous spots around Tokyo. So if you are in question of what areas you should see, I highly recommend trying a tour. So here's a souvenir I got from the Hakka bus people that they give to everybody who's ridden the bus. It's super cute! Please subscribe for more Japan information with Japanderstand.